Hi, I'm LJ with Chemistry Connection and Make Your Own Not Buzz. Welcome back. I didn't do much of an introduction for the first video of the month, but the theme for this month is in preparation for Valentine's Day. So there's going to be lots of pinks, lots of reds. So today we're going to be making a cold process soap that has three different layers and is topped with pink rose petals. This is the same formula that we use in our cold process kit, which is an all-inclusive kit that provides you all the ingredients and materials needed to make cold process soap and is great for beginners or as a gift if you want to give the gift of an activity. This is my first cold process soap with an actual technique. Um, the first cold process soap I ever made was just plain, I don't think it even had any color in it. And then the second one I did was the I'm Feeling Pine, which I kind of was just like playing with it. It wasn't like a real technique, it didn't really look that great in my opinion. But this one is the first one that I've done that I've actually used some of the tools that I've learned with watching other people's videos and doing some research on my own and so this one is actually I'm very proud of it I think it looks really good um, and it's super easy to make it's just three layers it's not an intricate swirl it's not too hard to do it's really just making three separate layers and pouring them and then I have it topped with some pink rose petals which just kind of ties it all together you can just leave the top plain if that's what you would like it's up to you I wanted to incorporate a little something on the top so that's why I put those on there but I know a lot of people don't really like herbs or botanicals on top of their soap because they fall off really easily and it's just a personal preference so now that I've blabbered my way through and revealed that I really don't know how to make cold process soap at all Let's get right into it. Okay, so first I'm going to put my shea butter in a microwave safe bowl and then I'm going to put that in the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds until it is completely melted. And then I'm going to add my coconut oil, castor oil, olive oil, and almond oil. So once I have all of my oils mixed together, then I'm going to want to set aside some of these oils for my three colors. So I'm going to take three of our 50 milliliter tri-pour beakers and I'm just going to portion off about a tablespoon of my oil into each of these beakers. And then I'm going to add about a teaspoon of titanium dioxide to one of these beakers. And then in the second beaker, I'm going to add about a half teaspoon of the Mystic Magic Red Mica. And then to the last beaker, I'm going to add about a half teaspoon of our Red Rose Mica. And then using our color whisk, I'm just going to mix those together and make sure that each of these colors are fully incorporated into the oil. I'm gonna set those colors aside. Back to the main oil mixture. I'm going to put my stick blender in it and then just burp it a little bit to make sure that there aren't any air bubbles. And then I'm going to add my pre-measured lye mixture. And you want to make sure that both of these mixtures are room temperature, so about 70 to 80 degrees. So that way you have lots of time to work and you don't have to worry about things accelerating too fast. And then I'm just going to stick blend until these are fully mixed together or they go through the process of emulsification. So once my mixture is completely emulsified, then I'm going to separate it into three equal parts. And then using the colors that I mixed before, I'm just going to add each of them into one of the third of my mixture. Then I'm going to use a spatula and mix these in by hand because like I said before, I don't want my mixture to thicken too quickly and I just want to make sure that I have plenty of time to work. So 
then I'm going to take the red rose mixture and I'm going to add about a third of an ounce of the Love Spell fragrance oil and then I'm going to stick blend those until I have a medium trace. And then I'm just going to pour that into our three pound mold. So I'm just going to wait a little bit and um, let this set up before I start doing the texture, but this is the method that I used. I just kind of wanted to create a little bit of a divot right in the center of the mold, and I'm, so I'm just taking my spoon back and forth and making sure that there is a line all across the middle of the entire mold. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the Mystic Magic Red mixture, stirring in my fragrance oil and then pouring it in the mold and creating the same divot in the center. And lastly, with the white mixture with the titanium dioxide, I'm going to do the same thing, mixing it with a stick blender and adding my fragrance oil, and then I'm going to pour that on top. So once it's set up a little bit, then I'm just going to create a little bit of a texture on top. You don't have to do this step, you could just leave it completely flat, that's just up to you. And then I'm going to take some pink rose petals and I'm just going to completely cover the top with those and pat them down lightly with my hand to make sure that they stick to the soap mixture. And then I'm going to let that cure for 24 to 48 hours and then we're going to cut it. Okay, so we're going to start by taking the soap out of the mold liner and then um, taking the silicone off of the soap. And here is a close-up. Uh, it looks so good on the outside. Um, I'm just in love with these rose petals on top. All right, and then I'm going to set the soap on its side in our metal miter box. And then using our straight soap cutter, I'm just going to press firmly down on the soap until it has cut completely and created a nice bar. And then I'm just going to slide it like so off of the cutter so that there aren't any marks left on the soap. And this soap creates such a great lather and it feels so amazing on the skin. So what did you think? Super easy, right? And it looks amazing. I'm actually very proud of myself for this one and I hope to see y'all's creations as well. So try this one out and make sure to tag us on Facebook or Instagram so that we can see how you did it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give us a like and comment below and let us know what you thought. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next week.